so we've made it to Corfu town. My hair is up. It's very humid this morning and we found a little cafe and we're sitting down with our Freddos. We just walked up from there and just keep on whippersnapping some out on my phone. It's just lovely. Just love all the colours. Absolutely love it. All the terracottas. There's just these side streets that just go on for ages and each we've been here and this has been like our fourth year of coming and I'm like have I been down this lane before? It's just fab. The weather has been overcast today so our plan was to go to <coughs> Corfu town. We were gonna go late afternoon um, and get some like golden hour shots because we didn't get them the other day but instead we've had we've taken it a bit easy today it's rained on and off um but mainly been overcast so yeah i've been trying to get my vlog uploaded but because the weather's been really bad so has the internet so i've had to hotspot to andrew's phone that's currently processing and we were gonna walk back to our room have a shower and get ready and whatnot to come back to Domino's because that's where we are now um, but it started raining but then the sun was also out and we were just like let's just jump in the pool and we just did didn't we huh we jumped in the pool yeah you reluctantly yeah I was scared because it was raining so it's gonna be really cold but now the sun's kind of come out but we are in the shade so um yeah it's been it's been chill today Good. You're so tanned. Is that floater? Hey. We went back to La Maison, had a shower, left my hair. It's all chlorine hair. I'm very sorry, Bryony. Um, it's gone green, actually. No, it hasn't. No, it hasn't. It hasn't. That's a light. And we are back at Domino's playing. Uno, and I've just won. <gasps> thank you, thank you. Yeah. I've got a um, Nescafe and Bailey's. So coffee, coffee and Bailey's. Because I'm really tired. It is Sunday today and we are moving rooms. Although Lamazon is adults only, I think this is like like a family sized room or like if you're if there's like a couple of adults coming or I don't know. Anyway, there's four beds in here and we don't need four beds. Um, and it's a basement apartment, a basement room. And we are going to be taking photos of a balcony room. So they've really kindly said that we're like, we'll stage it, make it look nice, take photos, take videos. And then we're going to move into that room. And in those rooms, you have like, I call it like a makeup desk, but it's like a desk and a mirror above, above it and whatnot, which I feel is a lot nicer to get ready of an evening or of a day. But the bathroom's actually been good. I'll, I will be quite sad to leave this room because the bathroom's a bit bigger and that kind of makes sense because you could have four adults in here. Yeah, going to a balcony room will be really nice. It means we can dry all of our stuff in the sun. Andrew has a working desk and yeah, we'll just stage it, take photos and videos and it will be lovely but uh, I think they're still cleaning it and sorting it at the moment. So I've got an Olaplex treatment on my hair. I've scrubbed, um, I've got some nasty bites and that's not even, that's, that's half the size and I got that like four days ago. So <laughs> they love me out here, good old mozzies. But yeah, it has been pretty humid. But anyway, yeah, I've got, Got a mask on my hair. I've got a little moisture mask on my face that I got from Sephora. We're just kind of like, it's a, it's a waiting game at the moment. It is again overcast today, just like yesterday, but no rain. But it is going to brighten up. So I'm just doing my thing at the moment. Vlog uploaded nicely yesterday. Just finished the thumbnail. Canva was being a massive pain in the ass. Well, the internet was being a bit of an ass. So to do my thumbnail pick, it took longer than normal, but that's all sorted. So yeah, I shall wash this off, put 
put a conditioning mask on my hair, wash this off, and I might actually shave my legs. I haven't shaved my legs in two weeks. Um, I've been out here for almost a week now, and every time I'm just like putting my swimwear on or taking my shorts off and about to go into the pool, I just look down at these really hairy legs, and it's not the best, but it hasn't really bothered me too much, but I thought, I've got some time. I think I'm gonna shave my legs. So I'll do that and I shall speak to you when we are at the room staging and taking photos and videos I guess. We have made it to Corfu town, we've parked, we're by the fortress and we are gonna go and have some dinner. I washed my hair and dried it and curled it but the humidity is just too much. Guess where we are? We had the most horrendous dinner in Corfu and we started walking around after dinner and I started feeling really rough so we cut the evening short. I've got changed into some comfy clothes and I've got a Greek tea and I'm trying to get rid of this horrendous pizza. Insert clip here. It was just horrendous. It looked like it had been frozen and then defrosted and then just barely cooked. So much cheese, so much, I mean, what would you say, Ainge? Cheese and oil and it just wasn't okay. And we really fancied pizza, but the place that we wanted to go, you've got a book. So we just copped out really and just went to the first restaurant we could see. because it's really muggy and sticky tonight. There was no point in me doing my hair. It was just a bit of a flop. Andrew's got his Corfu beer, which is gonna what wake you up? No, it's uh, it'll cut through all the grease and cheese. It's gonna cut through all the grease and cheese. Eleanor's gonna keep us company and just keep serving us. I'll give you a proper tour towards the end of next week. <laughs> Holy. Come here, little boy. Where's the Koei? Where's the cats? Where's the cats? Where's the cats? He was chasing her. Not a boy. Not a boy. No. Ollie! So after not a very eventful evening yesterday, although we ended it top notch, um, we are back at Domino's today. It's been very cloudy this morning felt like it was gonna rain so we took it easy Andrew got on with some emails I did a bit of tidying in the room because we changed yesterday um, and now I'm editing the next vlog Andrew's still working just doing a bit of admin aren't you Ainge? something like that and we've had our coffees while well, I'm still getting through mine the coffee I cannot get over it it's fantastic Andrew's just finishing his he's not hungry just yet but I've ordered this which is just superb I'm gonna move my drink so Domino's and La Maison is very like trying to be kind to the environment so the straws are biodegradable the packaging that they come in is biodegradable this is biodegradable everything's like as natural as pos so this is a coconut bowl and I think this is a bamboo spoon and I've got Greek yogurt with granola and I asked for a load of peach and then grape, grapes. So it is quite quiet for a Monday. And I thought, as they haven't got some music on where I'll probably get copyrighted for, I will show you Domino's. This is new, actually. Yanni started this in June. We've got a shower here. Got a shower here and then places for you to go and lay down. It's just all done really, really nicely. And this is wood. Um, you can do a bit of ping pong, but he wanted to do a bit more, but because it's just all been a bit unpredictable because of COVID, um, he stopped here, but he basically wants to do another level on the grass, a bit more of this so that people can sit up there and have a nice view of the pool. Not that you don't already have a lovely view of the pool. And it's a really nice atmosphere at night to come and eat. You've got your olive trees at the front and some kumquats. 
plants and some lime trees but we are literally the only ones here it's very quiet today I think because it's so overcast um, but we walk up from here La Maison's down there and then we come in here and it's just so nice um, they've also got down that road they've got some block of apartments with a pool which is connected but it's really really lovely it's a pool bar restaurant we normally sit here and play you know then there's some some seats there and the bar there and Andrew's sitting around there working it is now Wednesday and Andrew and I got absolutely apocalashed last night. We had like a club sandwich for lunch and then we weren't too hungry for dinner. And now that we've moved into a different room, top floor, because our previous room had a bit of a leak in the light and it needed to get sorted before it got even worse. So we've moved again. It's been great, it's fantastic. Andrew's making a racket. But yeah, last night we didn't want to like, I got ready and we knew that we didn't want to eat but we didn't want to be in the room. So we walked back up to Domino's and we just ended up drinking with Mary and Fortis, their two friends from Germany and just, you know, casually chatting, learning a bit of Greek, telling them what I know in German, which isn't a lot. I just know how to say I'm 11 years old. Ich bin elf Jahre alt. Yeah, one drink after another, after another, and then before you know it, they all wanted to go home and um, obviously shut down the bar. And Andrew and I walked home. Halfway on the way back to the room, Andrew forgot his camera. So he had to turn around to get it. And I had spinny room and was up until probably three in the morning. And Andrew was snoring. Morning, morning, morning. That light is not off. And need to turn it off. Is Saving electricity. So it is Thursday. Andrew and I are finally going to Baleo Go home in six days. I know, I'm a bit sad about it to be honest. But because we had a right bender the other day, yesterday was a bit of a write off. We did go to. A bit of a write off. We did manage to go to Corfu Town because we had a reservation at this pizza place, Margarita, and that was mind blowing. So incredibly good and beat obviously the other pizza we had the other day which was horrendous so i got my pizza fix all right safety first lower the pissing winch all right let's go Many moons ago, we had a quad bike like that, and I tell you what, I had to get off the back of it so that Andrew could actually get up the hill, and even then, it was possible. This is the Monastery Cafe and Fortis owns it with Mary. What are you doing? Ah, oh, we get to... We're gonna lose our seats. Very nice, very nice. We're having a little look. It's not finished yet. Whoa, you've got loads. Oh, wow. Smaller. Yeah, yeah a bit small. <laughs> I can see why you came here. Oh, the view is hideous. <laughs> what the hell? You've got the monastery there and you've got to come up like a hill, which is like a one way hill with traffic lights. Yeah, it is like the spot. We have made it into the monastery, which is my favourite, um, Paleoca Monastery. 
and um, I am now all covered up. Andrew's not loving how busy it is, but it's just so beautiful. And um, yeah, show you around. You don't need to wear your mask, honey. Only when you go inside the church and things like that. Yeah, but there isn't. Oh, okay. It's just so beautiful. So we walked in from here, from from down there around the corner in. This is the route that we did last time. You can go up some stairs the other side, but it's just so beautiful. And obviously it's got the view of where Fortis's cafe bar is. Well, hello there, you distinguished little gentleman. Or lady. Well, hey yo. I like meeting furry friends all the time. You're beautiful. Hot. It's just so wonderful. It's all the colours for me. And then obviously the view is in half bound. I don't mind having my shirt on because it stops me from getting burnt. Yeah. But yeah. No, I don't know, ask for this. You learn one word and then you're spot on. Not so much me. My accent isn't fab. Kalimera, Yamas, Yasu. Just taking out words from Frozen now. La Ravinia Beach. Okay, I want to go that. Lipades. I don't know if I'm saying that right. We're basically going to this beach. So after a sketchy drive up a hill, we've made it to Lacones. I think that's how you say it. But the views are insane. We did drive up further, but we're now coming back down. And we stopped at a place called uh, Dol Dolce or Dulce um, Cafe. And the views are really nice and the chairs are really comfortable. It's quite far up you can see the roads are quite narrow there's nowhere to park where we want to take photos so as we've come back down we've parked is that a pomegranate tree oh, here's a swell never seen one of those um but we've just parked there and we're just walking up to, because some of these houses the colors of them are amazing and like the street view it's really nice. We've just walked up here. But as you can see, it's like, it's got traffic lights. So the only light gets on what it turns into one way. Back on the quad. And we're just gonna start descending because I feel like some of the images could look better if we're just lower down. I think we're too high up. If we go down, we'll get a better perspective of the sea and and whatnot. We stopped again. We're going to like a, a Lion King ledge. Yeah, this is perfect. Do you not think? We've done done our little point. We're gonna do another one, another stop. It's just too nice of you. 